specific suppressed emotions always manifest in the same disease? Uh, yeah, many times. Yep. Yeah, that's the case. So like uh, cancers, for example, uh, related to different places in the body, are all related to different emotional suppressions of different different issues. Yeah. Yeah. There's a lovely book uh, written by a lady in Tasmania, I think, Annette Noontill, yeah. uh, called Emotions of the Barometer of the Soul. Yeah. Uh, th that that uh, that book can help you a lot identify some of the you know relationships, but it, there are more complex relationships to this book. Yeah. But that, that is a that general be, book. That would be general information that she got obviously. Yeah, she it was channeled. Yeah, by a natural love spirit who was channeling some information about that. And as you said on the DVD, the channeling is actually mm -hmm. different. It's actually plain and deliberate for a reason. Yeah, yeah, to help people come to this conclusion that my emotions create everything. Yep. Yeah. And it's very important to understand that all of disease, all of these things are all created by an emotion within. So I was talking last night to a lady who had breast cancer. And I asked her which breast she had cancer in. I think she said she had breast cancer in her right breast. And there is actually left side of your body has to do generally with female and right side of your body has to do with male. And that's actually a fact, obviously. Yeah, yeah. generally that's the fact. <laughs> when a person has breast cancer in the right side, it means that they are over-nurturing men in their life. Right? And they're doing it because they have some deep feelings of guilt and shame that motivate themselves to keep giving, keep giving, keep giving. They can't even help themselves to stop keep keeping on giving. Right? All they need to do is to work through that emotion and the, the, the cancer will begin to heal. So giving in the sense though is not a love giving. It's, no, it's, it's, a, it's a giving because I need something in return. Yeah. yeah. And that okay. was what causes disease. So, so every disease, even things like um, Alzheimer's and dementia and all those kind of things that happen to the body are all the results of different emotions within the soul being suppressed. Now, the emotions that are suppressed, are they that cause disease, are they actually suppressed in the organ scene? Because what happens then if someone says has a hysterectomy, um, is it the same for releasing the emotions or...? <laughs> yeah, let's look at it. Here's our soul. Our bodies are actually inside of our soul. Yes. Right? So let's say if I draw a female in this case, sorry about that, girls. Let's draw over the dress so she's female. Yes. And you could say her physical body is overlaid to her spirit body, right? I think it's <laughs> 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 One time I did this, I drew a male like this, I went like this. I went sort of like that. <laughs> right, so remember we've got sort of our spirit body and our material body, they basically overlaid each other, right? And then our soul encompasses those bodies. Now, in our soul, our soul is an energetic system. It's, it's emotions running constantly. And our soul's emotions um, cause energy meridians in our spirit body. You've heard of chakras? Yes. Right? Chakras are where 192, I think it is, energy meridians intersect. Right? It's in each part of our body. So we have chakra, 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 uh, what are we up to? Chakra, 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 chakra. That's seven of yeah. yeah. And these are energy meridians in our body. That, are, that our soul has the control of, not our spirit form, our soul. And our soul's emotions control them. You follow me? So, what's happening is, if a certain part of it, let's say I have an emotion of unworthiness, an unworthy, an unworthy emotion causes damage to these two energy meridians. Uh, now, if my unworthy emotion is related to myself and I'm a male, Right, and as unworthy emotions related to myself being a male, then I will have a certain response in those two meridians. Now that causes energy in my physical and spirit bodies to not flow properly in that region, which causes my body to not be able to completely replenish that area. Right? 
which causes disease in that area of some type, depending on what type of emotion it is and how the energy from that emotion affects that particular area of my body. But it's this soul, and you can think of this soul, this soul is like a swirling, swirling of energy going on all the time, right, around it. This is your real self, swirling with energy, which is all energy in motion, right, energy in motion, right, this is your soul, your soul, your real you, it's just this energy in constant motion, and it's swirling around, and wherever the energy is stopped or blocked, due to certain emotional, not wanting to experience, your soul not wanting to experience emotion, at that location there will be an injury appear in your spirit form and correspondingly an injury appear in your material form. And that's the creation of all the seeds. Right? Hey, how can I help my niece? She has some kind of cancer in the... In the, in the brain. Back in the brain? Yeah. So it's a tumour in the brain? Yeah. Yep. And I can't tell you at the moment the exact emotion without actually feeling her, and I'm not connecting with her at the moment to actually feel her. But there is obviously an emotion that's affecting this area of her body to create the tumour. Now this area here, the throat area, is about truth. And this area here is usually about spirit connection, right? So it's the mixture of those two things going on which would create the problem. And if she's got it near the base of the brain, it's probably due with the nerve central nervous system a bit as well. It's affecting the central nervous system then. It's causing her eyes to shut down and all sorts of physiological responses to shut down. So look at what it's affecting and you'll start connecting with the emotions of it. Also, it's, a, it's about her connecting with what she's feeling while she's got this disease as well, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. So every disease creates a feeling of its own usually within you and if you can connect with that feeling you will often find the source. Now all of them are due to different emotions of some kind, but I can't tell you in her case what the specific emotion is without probably being with her for a little bit.